All right, first thing I do check is, it's the nuts here, these bolts here on the mower. Sometimes they come loose. If they come loose, this whole thing will rattle and you'll break the mower. There's one here, two, and three. The next thing I usually check, the clip for the pin. I usually paint this so I can see it from the cab. If this comes out, this pin will fly out. This pin will fly out. And I'll drop the mower and I'll, I'll rip all this off. That's happened twice to me. Okay. These hoses, you have to be very careful. You have to favor this side of the machine. You can get a branch or something, tear out the hoses. Now. And then make sure there's no nothing leaking. Sometimes these couplings come loose. It'd be a little leaky, I tighten them up. I look at the tires, make sure there's no cuts. Then I look here in the back. Chuck the oil. And the oil is full. Now that's one thing about the oil. If you go over here to the side, the correct way to check it is the machine to be level. Sometimes you'll tilt it back, be over full. Sometimes tilt it forward, be under, all right? So it's a little off, so it's, it's a little bit over full, which is good. Turn on the kill switch here. And that's all I do here in the back. Now to check the water, there's a little cap up here. To check the water, you can barely see it on the cover. Now this is the automatic greaser for the mower. It's, this is a timer. The maximum is set for 15 minutes. On this mower here, you only have to put a couple minutes of grease in it and you're fine for the day. On the other mower, the flail mower, you leave this on at full and you can go, you can, you can go like that. I look underneath, see if anything is leaking or anything. You never know about these machines. Okay, we're on this side. Gotta unlock it. This is the most important side of the machine. We'll start right here with the radiator. I usually take a whisk broom and clean this off either when I'm done for the day or first thing in the morning. Why is that important? It will overheat because you're in a ditch and you don't get no air and it plugs up, but the engine's running at 1900 RPMs and it will start overheating. I always watch the temperature, especially after lunch. And then you get, this is for the air conditioner, this is for the engine, engine and hydraulics. There's where we put the fuel on that here. And then this tube here. You hook this in, you take this off, you hook it to here, and you put in a fuel tank. Then over here, it's a switch, you turn it on, turn it off. And then in the back of it, you have a windshield washer, which you use that during the day because you get mud and that up in the windshield. Okay, we'll go to the other side now. Well, we'll come back up here around and get around here again. The hoses look good, and this and that. Make sure your grease line's connected to the mower head. This is automatic greaser here. Sometimes you can rip that off. Okay, this is where you check your hydraulic. You got a sight glass here. As long as it's at that arrow, you're good. This is where you put your hydraulic in. And this is your hydraulic filter. Now what I do, I check the belt. Make sure the belt's okay. If it breaks, the machine will shut off. The next thing we're gonna do is open up the cab. But I have to unlock this. Of course. How do you do that? Well, you take a wrench about this big, Allen wrench. Okay. And you put it in here, and then you gotta pull on it. Unscrew it. Take this apart like so, and there you go. Now I have to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. There's a little trick here, magnets that hold this up. There we go.
Okay, we got that done. Now the most important thing when you do this, you have to take this bar. It's safety. You got this little clip here. You take this off, goes on. Make sure the square end is up, that shad down. It's a safety bar that the cab will not come down on you. When you use this, you're working on, working in here. Here's your batteries. Always check for corrosions, see if it's loose or not. And these are all the hydraulics. You look around. If you see something leaking from underneath the cab, chances are it's coming out from one of these fittings here or holes. Now we're going to close the cab back up. Take the safety pin and the safety bar down. There's a little bolt at the end of this that you put over here. Okay. And okay. Now we will lower the cab. When you lower the cab, you have this little valve here. We'll do it slow because you gotta wash your hand. You see this coming down? You gotta wash your hand here. Make sure it doesn't get pinched or whatever. So we'll do this very slowly. We're gonna put this back in here. Very simple magnet. You got the two little hooks you want, might want to call them. You, they have to go on here. There's one, there's two. Also, magnet. See the magnet here. So all you got to do is go and then you lock it back up. This goes in. This is in to the cab. This is out, away from the cap. In, this goes out. Okay, there's one trick to this. You turn the key on. And you take it all the way over to the right. And here's my hands. Now listen. It resets the computer. This is a fuel tank. It's full. The bottom here is your hydraulic temperature. Over here is your RPMs, and this is your engine oil temperature, most important. Check that, okay. All right, now you got to go down. This is all for the mechanic. For the mechanic. And for the mechanic. This right here is your engine oil. Between 98 degrees. You don't start running the machine until you reach the temperature 104. Oh, wow. Uh, in the afternoons, if your radiator is plugged up, this temperature shoot up to 200 degrees. Or if it's a hot, warm day, at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I idle everything down, the temperature will go back down. My temperature is past 104. So I'm ready, I'm good to go.